Hello, my dear web methods professionals. Today we are focusing on how to consume external API using HTTP service. Let's create a folder for this demo. You can search for public APIs in the internet. Here I am using this website to access the public APIs. These APIs don't require any keys with zero authentication. Here I am going to use Jokes API which is available in Gethub. These are the available endpoints for this API. Since these endpoints don't require any keys, you can test the sample URLs out on the address bar of your browser. Let's use this endpoint to access from web methods. Create a flow service to consume the jokes API. Invoke the built-in service called pub.clienthttp. Provide URL of the resource that you want to access. Here we have already copied the endpoint URL for Jokes API. Specify the HTTP method you want to use. Here it is get. Set load as stream to return the body of the response as a java.io.input stream. Let's invoke JSON stream to document service to convert the response stream to a document. Drop the variables which you don't require. Let's now run the service. The request has been processed successfully and got the response. You can see the HTTP 200 OK success status response code. This is the response data that we have received and converted to a document. You can read and enjoy the random programming joke that we have received. Let's run again and see the different joke. Let's try for a different REST API to consume. JSON placeholder provides free fake REST API for testing. Here you can test the provided resource. These are the available REST resources to access.
All HTTP methods are supported for the provided resources. Let's try to access the users. It's retrieving all the users stored in the back end. Let's try for a specific user by providing the ID. Let's access the same resource from web methods for the post method. Create another flow service to access the rest resource. Invoke the HTTP service and provide rest resource URL that we have copied. Specify the post method to create a user. To send user data for the post operation, copy the sample user info from the get operation. Paste it and modify the details for the new user to be created. You can set the required headers if any. Here I am setting content type as application slash JSON. Save changes. You can drop unnecessary variables. Let's now run the service. The request has been processed successfully. The HTTP 201 created success status response code indicates that the request has succeeded and has led to the creation of a resource. The new resource is effectively created before this response is sent back and the new resource is returned in the body of the message. Thank you.